Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And salutations to the elect scattered brought throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson. Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashem Shai through the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash. Lord willing, this is edifying strength to the point. Now, Lord willing, I just want to um, go through a couple headlines for some articles concerning the high, the high prices and in the in a, pretty much the inflation. All right, that's gonna, that's pretty much gonna shake America, shake this place, this country, this corporation, shake these people up as we know it. All right, because. Inflation's already been a thing. It's been accelerated a lot. You know, via the the twenty twenty event that took place that, that changed the whole world. And now they're saying that because of this war, this Ukraine Russia crisis is gonna is gonna get even higher. So everything is everything is adding up and leading to hyperinflation pretty much when when the when the when the value of the dollar just continued to decrease by the by the second, all right, which is hyperinflation, all right, it's inflation accelerated. You know, people are already starting to see, like I had posted in the community section, Colgate talking about they're gonna raise a a, a a tube of toothpaste for ten dollars. That's a lot for a toothpaste. Ten dollars for a toothpaste is a lot of money. All right. You know, shit, um, the car insurance, you know, that our car insurance, my car insurance went up. And the reason they said the reason behind it when we called and asked them up what was going on, they came up with some bullshit excuse. But I know I know the reason behind it is due to inflation. I, I never heard that reason before. Usually what happens over time with my car insurance is that it'll go down over time. You know, but, you know, they called the insurance company and said it went up because of X, X amount, whatever reason, whatever. Made no sense. You know, it wasn't a drastic jump or anything, but still. You know, um, got a cousin complained about how his um his light bill went from one something, uh, 150 something to, to over 350. It doubled pretty much. You know, so... Gas, which is what these articles are going to talk about. Yahoo Finance says drivers blown away by spiking gas prices as Ukraine Russia crisis fires up oil. And we've been telling you this. We've been saying that. We've been saying that through the spirit from the apostles, elder bishops on down. All right. Since since way early in the 34th Street days, but they've been saying this. All right. One of the main things I remember Elder Tazadak, Elder Tazadakibo always used to talk about this. Elder Bishop. Oh, you should say that once the gas prices go to to extremely high point, it's going to cause a lot of truck drivers to stop bringing in goods, you know? So, hey, that's another thing to look out for when, when the, when the, when the gas prices start to, starts to affect the truck drivers. So anyway... Um, this article says even before Russia's invasion of Ukraine, U.S. gas prices were rising rapidly. So they're telling you that it was already going up. Now, this is just adding more fuel to the fire. It says in our in our now marching toward a national average of four dollars per gallon or higher in the coming months with the crisis showing no signs of abating. And it's definitely higher than that in a lot of places. You know, what I'm saying especially if your car, you got to take like premium. If you're taking premium, that's that's over four dollars. Almost that's five dollars, damn near. And your tank may may hold fifteen gallons. You know, you're talking way well over seventy five. You know, some people gonna be paying damn near a hundred dollars for to fill up a tank. So it says, as sanctions isolate Moscow and crimp Russian energy supplies, skyrocketing crude oil, and gas prices will impact consumer businesses. Already facing the highest inflation level since 1982 on Thursday. It says Brent briefly flirted with 120 per gallon dollars per gallon with U.S. oil, not far behind at 116. 
It says, I wish that we've peaked. I think we're a long way from that. Unfortunately, on an average year, gas prices go up 25 to as much as 75 cents a gallon between March and Memorial Day. Patrick Dehan, head of uh, petroleum analysis at Gas Buddy, told Yahoo Finance live last week. Um, it says, by comparison, the average U.S. gas price was about $2.65 a year ago. In California, where prices are now averaging 4 point eighty to a gallon up to five cents from last week the situation is already grim and it goes on it goes on it goes on i don't want to read all the i don't want to read everything but and this is the article i was talking about the ten dollar toothpaste toothpaste ten dollar toothpaste u.s household goods makers face blowback on price hikes it's gonna be a lot more of that not just toothpaste it's gonna be gallon of water you know it's gonna be bread peanut butter Whatever you could think of. This is another article from Newsbreak. It says Americans should be should get ready for five dollar gas, a gallon of gas, and our analyst warns. Let me see, let me go to this to get the full article. It says Americans can expect increasing pain at the pump as rising oil costs continues to push up prices at gas stations across the US. That spike is unlikely to ease any time soon as Russia's war with Ukraine intensifies, experts say. All right, so they're letting you know, they're letting everybody know that, you know, this thing, this thing is, this thing is going to go up, it's going to increase. And the key point is says Americans can ex expect increasing pain at the pump as rising oil costs continues to push up gas price up, uh, push up prices at the gas station across the u.s and what does the scripture say about pain this is the book of jeremiah chapter 51 and i'll start at verse 6 it says flee out of the midst of babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the lord's vengeance he will render unto her a recompense and what it mean to flee out the midst of babylon like the scripture say michael rise ye and depart for this is not your rest meaning we're supposed to way, leave the ways of this world, the teachings of this world, all right, because it's ran under the under under Satan, all right, who's Esau, Edom, all right, so everything that this world, the pollutions that it teaches, all it's going to do is defile the Israelites, you know, at least they be washed again and cleansed by the word of the Lord, but the Lord said, arise and flee out of the midst of Babylon, all right, be not partakers of her sins, all right, that's how you deliver your soul, by repenting, believing in Yahweh, Bashmi, Yahweh, and turning away. From these from this wicked society all right because why is it's the day of the lord's the lord's vengeance we about to see what, what the definition of vengeance is when the lord start to pelt, pelt fire on the, on the shores of america it says babylon which is america has been a golden cup in the lord's hand that have made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad and the golden cup is a is a precious cup you got a golden cup all right, with wine in it, that, that's a special cup to you. And yes, the Lord used America as, as, that, as that golden cup to bring forth that judgment. All right, like the scriptures call um, Babylon the ham of the earth. All right, a hammer is used to, to destroy, to break down. You know, it's a, it's a tool. And the Lord specifically used Babylon as a tool for one to teach us as Israelites, the whole entire nation of Israel, as, as, um, to teach us a lesson. All right, by putting us into captivity under the basis of all men. All right, and also to get all the and then the Lord did what to get use Babylon to get the nations drunk, so the nation gonna get mad and then they are gonna turn on her. All right, so that's how that's how she gonna be destroyed. The Lord's gonna destroy America by having these nations turn and shoot missiles on her. All right, because nations are drunk off of Hawaiian, which is her philosophy. All right, uh, the uh, religion taking on Western customs and. Which totally pollutes and defile a nation. So it says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. Now what is balm? Balm is anointment. Anointment is to heal a wound. Alright, this place is wounded. Alright, this, this place got a deep gash and is wounded. And no balm, no band-aid, no, no nothing is going to be able to heal it. Or to be able to, um, to bring it back. Alright, meaning no amount of money. 
you they push into this economy that absolutely nothing no, don't matter who they vote for to try to do this and fix that and da da da, da absolutely nothing is going to be able to have this place recover because Esau, Esau, you know, the Lord put the spirit on this man to, to do this thing, but not realizing that he's going to be in a snare his, himself. By doing the things that this devil is doing, he's going to snare his own self. All right, so there's no turning back. All right, take bond for a pain because this place is about to be in grave pain. All right, the, the, the prices at the gas, you know, the gas pump is the least of your worries. You know, the least of these people's worries when there's a food shortage, when there's no more food coming in. All right, Esau is gonna get these people. He gonna he gonna have them by the by the by the neck. All right, to submit. All right, because the the model, like I always say, the model is order out of chaos, order out of chaos. So chaos is gonna be implemented. They're gonna bring in that chaos, and then as a result, they're gonna establish their order, which is gonna be temporarily until the Lord throws in that monkey wrench when this man start sticking that palisade in people, injecting them. With that Revelation 13, 16 on down. All right, so Babylon is suddenly falling. It's falling. Babylon is falling. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be ultimately falling when the Lord shoots missiles here. All right, which we've seen a little glimpse of that brewing up. You know, there's gonna be. You know, that's a that's wars and rumors of war like the Lord prophesied about. Okay, but there's gonna be more intensifying. You know, wars that's gonna lead up to this World War Three. Okay, Iran got to get involved. You know, them, them rats out there got to get involved. So, take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. But she, she's not going to be healed. So, more pain is coming. Just just to, you know, pinpoint what the article said. Americans can expect e increasing pain at the pump. They're not just at the pump. At the supermarket, at the store, at the hospitals, in their house, in their neighborhoods. There's going to be pain everywhere on all sides. Okay, so it says... We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country, for a judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our power. Okay, and that's what we do. All right, that's what we do. We declare in Zion the works of our Lord, Yahweh That's what the prophets do. They pave the way before the coming of the Lord. Like the scriptures say, um... Uh, the prophesied that I've been the prophets that have been before me prophesied against many kingdoms and countries against famines and wars. Matter of fact, let me get that. Uh Jeremiah twenty eight. Jeremiah twenty eight and um eight. It says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that and that's exactly what the prophets now, the real prophets, the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yashai are prophesying. Prophesying against all these kingdoms. We're prophesying against war. Alright. We're prophesying of war, excuse me. That war is coming. We're prophesying of evils as well, because before war insinuates you're gonna have evil taking place on this earth. Alright? Real real evil times. And part of them evils is uh Jacob's trouble. Alright, and in the midst of Jacob's trouble, Esau sticking people with that, you know what? Alright, that that C Ragma. Okay, pestilence, which is which is this we we seeing that right now, and there's gonna be more pestilence. All right, Esau ain't gonna do. Esau just ain't gonna turn turn off turn away from engineering these, you know, bio you know weapons. Excuse me, so to speak. All right, he's gonna unleash a lot more. The Lord is gonna use him to unleash all of that all of that evil. All right, so let me go back to Jeremiah fifty one. It says, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his devices against Babylon to destroy it. And that's the Lord raising up the spirit of the, um, them Russians or the, or the Russians, all right? To do what? Because they're going to be the ones, the main ones that are going to destroy this place. All right? So the Lord is raising them up pursuing the, um, the book of Ezekiel chapter 38. All right? It says, to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord. The vengeance of his temple set up which who's his temple the israelites it says set up the standard upon the walls of babylon make the watch strong set up the watchmen prepare the ambushes for the lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of babylon o thou that dwellest upon many waters abundant in treasures 
thine end is come and the measure of of thy covetousness all right we're just talking about babylon the great america because you read revelation on um, uh, 17 verse 15 it tells you that that um about the the waters talking about the nations all right and babylon the great america is that that whore that sits at the point of many waters all right meaning among on top of all these nations so the lord is going to ultimately destroy this place second is 16 to 35 Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. All right, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. They're not slacking. As when a woman with a child in the ninth month bring forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. All right, so we are witnessing the great pains of, of this, this society, the great pains, the contractions, all right? Because you women, you know, as you know the contractions for those who have had children. When a woman is getting ready to go into labor, she starts to get them contractions. And when the closer it is for the baby to come, the contractions get shorter and more painful. All right, so the contractions, the pains of Babylon is getting shorter. It's one thing after the next. It's getting shorter and shorter and more painful and more painful every single one 2022 the year to turn up so things are going to intensify turn up the contractions the pains are going to get even more 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 worse it says and they slack not a moment so one of the pains is inflation and then hyperinflation it says even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side see there you go sorrows and pain is going to come upon it on every side all right, this place is done. It's finished. Okay, this is another article. It says prices will go up for these five things in 2022. All right, and they give you a whole list of things. You know, housing. It says housing, heating costs, gas, prescription costs, cars. And the list goes on. All right. This guy, Jerome Powell. Um, people will feel that. Feds, Feds, Powell says war could fuel inf inflation. And it will. Because the, the goal is to bring in that CBDC. All right. The central bank um, digital currency. All right. The CBDC. It says, Fed Chairman Powell, we should have moved earlier. Federal chair pledges to bring inflation under control. Uh, Fed's, po Fed, uh, Fed's power rushes war on Ukraine will worsen inflation. And these are all brand new articles. Hours within a day apart from each other. All right. So, so on and so forth. And, you know, so that's the times we're living in. All right. Great pains are coming upon this place. It's here. And it's going to intensify and intensify. And people are people going to be feeling hurt out here. But the one thing that's going to keep us stable is uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, of thy times. That's the one thing. And faith in Yahweh Bashmi Shah, which is the wisdom and knowledge and the stability. But that's what's going to keep us stable in these times. While everybody else is in pain and they don't know what to do, confused, you know, and just totally messed up. The Lord is going to have his, um, his chosen stabilized in his unstable economy and world. All right. So I'm going to end it here, Lord willing. This is a quick edifying lesson straight to the point. Till next time I say Shalom.